in the study of second moment of area of different shapes we always consider some standard shapes like square triangle circle semicircle quarter circle different right angle triangle all these are the standard shapes and for all these shapes we know the moment of area of these different shapes about their own centroidal axis in this session i would like to give a brief about the moment of area of the circle semicircle and a quarter circle sections and why because i feel that we should know that how we derive the formula of semicircle and quarter circle from a circular body and i believe that if you will go through the session you will definitely find it very interesting and useful so let's start the problem with the three different values which i am showing here that in case of a circle the moment of area about any diametral axis will be de defined by the pi by 64 d to the power 4 where d is the diameter of this circle when i move from circle to semicircular body and if i am interested about the moment of area of its centroidal axis let me tell you that here the centroidal axis is the diameter but when we move from circle to semicircle the centroidal axis shifted to a distance 4r by 3 pi from the this value so in case of a semicircle the centroidal x x axis let like this is my centroidal x x axis value of moment of area is 0.11 r to the power 4 and the second axis which is also passing from the centroid so this is the vertical centroidal axis and having a value pi by 128 d to the power 4 if we will see here this is the half of this value but if i will calculate this value this is not the half of this value and that's what i want to convey through this session that how we derive this value using the Uh, moment of area of a circle similarly when we talk about the moment of area of a quarter circle in case of quarter circle my centroid lies here which is 4r by 3 pi distance away from both the uh, flat sides so this distance is 4r by 3 pi both the dis both these distance are defined by 4r by 3 pi and these are my centroidal axis and if i'll see here i know that the centroidal value like moment of area of the centroidal axis is 0.11 r to the power 4 by 2 mean this is the just half of this value so the objective of this session is to how we can derive these values and i believe that because when we understand how we are deriving this will also help us to solve some more problems so now let's consider that there is a circle and in case of a circle as i know that suppose this is my centroidal axis and the value about this x x is i always define the centroidal axis as x x and y y so suppose these are my two centroidal axis and the value of moment of area about this centroidal axis will be defined by pi by 64 d to the power 4 similarly pi by 64 d to the power 4 now suppose i am removing the lower half of my circle so now the section is just the upper half of the circle so i just request all of you that if i am going to consider the same x x axis which were there and i have removed the half part so directly you can write that your moment of area about this line will be half of the moment of area you were having for a complete circle so now i am not putting it as a my centroidal axis and i am giving a name at axis 1 1 and i know that i 1 1 will be basically the half of this value so it will be pi by 128 d to the power 4 similarly if i'll see this vertical line which have which were having a moment of area pi by 64 d to the power 4 and now i have removed the half part so moment of area about this line will also become 1 by 1 pi by 128 d to the power 4 now as i know that the vertical line and the horizontal line i have to check whether these two lines are the centroidal axis or not so let's this is my axis 2 2 if i will locate the centroid of the semicircular body the centroid lies here which is having a distance 4r by 3 pi from the base so now 
I can see that the vertical line is my centroidal axis. Still, it is a centroidal axis. However, the horizontal line is now no longer become the centroidal axis, and now my centroidal axis will be this line. So I will write it as a x x. And what would be the moment of area about this line? So if I am interested to find the moment of area about the x x line, I can apply the parallel axis theorem, which says that for any or any axis which is parallel to the centroidal axis the moment of area is defined by the summation of moment of area about the centroid plus the area of the section into h bar square where h bar is showing that for what distance we are shifting our centroidal axis so if i'll correlate these two this formula says that if i know the moment of area about this centroidal axis and i am interested to find moment of area about this line or any line which is parallel to this line so i have to apply this formula where the centroidal axis plus a second term which is having the product of area of the semicircle and the Pro, uh, multiplication of square uh, of h bar h bar is the distance which i am transferring so here my h bar is 4r by 35 so if i'll put because i am using this formula on the other end actually i am interested to find i x x which is not known to me because I, if i'll compare here that i know that 1 1 is known to me which is pi by 128 d to the power 4 so if i'll put this value here pi by 128 d to the power 4 where d is the twice of diameter radius of the circle i x x is unknown to me and this area is pi r square by 2 into 4 r by 3 pi whole square so when i'll put this d is equal to 2 r and i'll rearrange the term i'll get that the moment of area about this line becomes 0.11 r to the power 4 now let's i am moving and i am again removing the half circle so uh, i'll just show you again that if i'll consider this semicircle now there are three axes one let this is my axis 1 1 which is now centroidal axis this is my second axis which is my centroidal axis and this is my third axis which is again the centroidal axis and the three values are shown here suppose i am removing the other half of my circle for example that this was my circle and now i am removing the this part of my circle it will not make any difference only the thing what happened now this line will become my equivalent to 1 1 line and here will be my centroidal axis so this would be my new centroidal axis this would be my centroidal axis which were here in the earlier case and this is my axis 1 1 if i'll compare these two figure so in this case the x x will have value pi by 128 d to the power 4 the y y will have value 0.11 r to the power 4 and 1 1 will have value pi by 128 d to the power 4 so please understand and now if i'll extend my problem to find the moment of area of a quarter circle in case of a quarter circle let this is my quarter circle so if i'll compare these two figures here this was my section and let's i want to remove the lower half for the same value so now what will happen first if i'll consider this xx line here again this was my xx line this was my 1 1 line and this was my y y line but now i am also introduce, introducing here a fourth line which is a centroidal line and which is passing from the centroid so this line is not no longer my centroidal axis so let's put change the name of this line as 2 2 and this is my x x so what will happen if i'll compare these two figure in this figure this was the half circle and i have removed the lower half so now the upper half and if i'll see this x x line which i am writing here is 2 2 will be basically half of this value so what it will happen for a quarter circle and a line along the diameter or radius will basically 1 by 2 pi by 128 d to the power 4 i have all, uh, made half of this value this is the half of this value so it will be pi by 256 d to the power 4 similarly if i'll see this vertical line which were 1 1 here 
and the value about the 1 1 was again the pi by 128 so here this would this i 1 1 will also become pi by 256 d to the power 4 now about about the centroidal lines so these centroidal lines will basically if i'll see here this was my centroidal line in this case it remains the same however the horizontal axis now shifted upward because i have removed the lower half and these two centroidal line have a value 0.11 because it was 0.11 r to the power 4 here i have removed the lower half so it will be 0.11 r to the 4 by 2 and this is common for both the axes so uh, basically if I conclude the session, I would say that if you are having a circle, circular body and these two axes for, are known to you that I, we, if you know the moment of area about these two axes and if you are making a half circle, the moment of area about this line will become just I1 by 2 and this line will become just I2 by 2. But you will, these two lines will not be my centroidal axis, so I, this would be my next centroidal axis and which is having a different value. If I am having a quarter circle, in that case what will happen? This line and this line, if I will consider, suppose this is my line. These two lines and these two lines are same. So I know that this is I2, so it will be basically I2 by 4 and this will be I1 by 4. But now these two lines are no longer my centroidal axis and these two axis will now, my centroidal axis and which were having value 0.11 by 2 r to the power 4 which is half of this value. So please understand that how we have derived from circle to semicircle and from semicircle to a quarter circle uh, moment of area of these sections. Thank you.